Good morning, YouTube. Or actually, I should say afternoon because I actually just got home. This is Gabe coming back at you again with another video here at Trugging Life. I'll get right to it, guys. So our goal for today is on these older systems, on, on, on these trucks or whatever. Uh, again, my particular case is a Detroit Series 60. There's no coolant filter anywhere along the truck. And there's a lot of older trucks like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to install an optional coolant filter so that we're, we're able to, you know, get any impurities out of the system. If you guys watched my previous video, you guys saw that my, uh, my water pump failed. The impeller, well, it was leaking, but the impeller was hitting the housing. So a little bit of that material got inside the, the, the cooling system and there's really no way to filter it out, even if you empty out the system. So, I mean, I'm going to do it for preventative measure. I was planning on doing this anyway, but, uh, here's our new pump. You guys can tell that's new pain in the butt, man. And a long, long night, but no more leaks. All this crap right here was covered with coolant. So. the tools that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it right here. And what I ended up coming up with is I just got an angle iron, painted it nice and blue with the paint that I had left over. And I wanted to use those existing holes right there. So we're going to mark them and drill them. And then we're going to put the, the filter housing right here. So it's just a regular piece of just angle iron right there. We got our drill to drill our stuff. And here's the part number. So that's the, that's the filter for coolant and here's the bracket you guys can see right there it says in and out and that's the part number right there p550840 just in case you guys want to do it so with that angle iron we'll be able to you know nicely secure it on there without having to mess around with drilling holes or anything on the frame i'm just going to use them where it's existing already and then here we just got these barb fittings that you screw onto them those are the fittings that I got, just in case you guys want to copy it and install it on your truck. And just basic tools, you know, just two bolts so that we're able to secure it with some washers. And that's it. Let me go ahead and uh, set you guys up so that we can mark those holes. All right. Put my gloves. Man, I'm telling you, I've had this week was a nightmare of a week, man, with that pump. It's a lot of work, man. You guys are probably already watched that video before this one because that's the one that's going up first. Um, and I'm doing this after the fact, like once I actually got home. So let's see, we'll put this here. That'll work good. I'm just going to mark it down and then we'll just drill it with our stepper bit. Let's see. That's good right there. Just like so. I might have put a little too much paint on it. And let's get to drilling. Man, I really need to get me a vise. Hopefully this thing don't clack up and... Ooh, that's some hard-ass metal. Maybe this stepper bit might not do it. Man, that is some hard, hard, hard metal. Let me just mark this one. And I think I might have to get my, my uh, cobalt bits. Let me go grab my cobalt bits. I think it came up with a little bit better way. I went ahead and clamped it with this because I don't want it to slap it on my hand. Put my cobalt bit on there. See if my buddy did tell me, he's like, man, this is going to be pretty hard metal to drill through, but... Oh yeah, it's definitely going through a lot better. Man, 
man, that one was being stubborn. Holy smokes. I had to take it off and do it on the floor. Let's see if we measured right. I hope we did. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Once it's on there, like with the bolts, it'll be a lot easier to drill because I'll have, uh, it'll be like firm on there. You know what I mean? It won't be moving. Let's see if we can get it to go in there. All right, there's one. I'll leave the other one. Where the hell? Do I leave the other one? Let me see if I left it in the truck. Oh, man. I'm tired. The only reason why I started doing this is because normally my wife picks me up when uh, I get home. But she's like doing some activities with the kids right now. And I was like, eh, you know what? I got to do this anyway. I was like, I'll just go ahead and start knocking this out and and you can finish up whatever it is you're doing so that's the reason why we're we're doing that and uh i figured i might as well just knock it out all right come on get in there come on all right Oh yeah, that looks pretty good, huh? So let's go ahead and tighten that bad boy up. My battery, my battery. My socket. I don't know if that socket's gonna fit behind there. Well, let's try it out. We'll see what happens. And shoot. Let's see. moron what an idiot gabe the effects of being tired <laughs> i did it backwards instead of doing it too tight i forgot the rule lefty lucy righty tighty you know what i mean it just happens when you're this this week was just a long long week and i'm just happy to be at the house and thankfully we were able to get that pump done there at the shop and uh, that's more better, you know what I mean? All right, now let's make sure we're going the right way. You know what I mean? That way. Let's see. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Is this one going to fit or is the bolt going to be in the way? The bolt might be in the way. Hell yeah. How about them apples, guys? <laughs> Tell you, I love me some power tools. See, now that we got that angle bracket, then we can just put this bad boy right here. Just like that, and she's good to go. So let's go ahead and mark them bolts. I think I need to get me some new drill bits, because these are... Have seen better days. We'll put this. We can get the bolts behind it. Let's go there. And let's go there. There we go. Alright guys, so man, it gave me trouble. Them drill bits are a little bit dull. I beat the crap out of it. But check this out. Bam, it's going to go right there. Beautiful. Let me make sure that the filter is going to clear. So we got our fill tray right here, guys. And it just screws on down there. I'm not going to screw it in completely tight yet. I just want to make sure that... Uh, that the filter's gonna clear, and uh, sure enough, how you guys like me now? Let me go get some bolts, guys. For my owner ops out there, check this out, guys. 
I just bought this case right here at a tractor supply. They sell the case. They don't, they don't sell it with the bolts and everything. And you just have a whole bunch of bolts and washers and everything. These guys, they're super cheap there. They sell them by weight. Like literally, for example, like all that square, I don't know how many bolts it is, man. It's probably maybe like three or four dollars. And I just have different sizes there for little projects like that. You know, like if some one of the bolts breaks, you know, I got my air fittings and stuff like that. And it's just a little pointer. You know what I mean? These are great. And I hate it going back and forth to the store. So that's what we did. All right. So we got our bolts. Let's go ahead and bolt this bad boy in. Get this one behind. Right in there. Oh, yeah. Modification at its finest. There we go. There we go. Let's put these here. There we go. Washer there. Sorry, guys. I dropped my nets. Let me grab my net. Drop my nets. Okay. Alrighty. Another little burst of power. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's put our filtre on. That's the way it's gonna look, guys. I'm not gonna tighten it yet, guys. I know I gotta put a little bit of lube in it. I'm just gonna I'm just kind of seeing how everything's kind of going together, you know? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our barb fittings right there. Get a little bit of Teflon tape. Do you know what I mean? And that's just going to be overall better for the life of the, of the engine, you know? Because over time, you know, an engine, you know, it's not particularly normal. For you to have uh, metal in your uh, coolant, in my particular case, it was it was very little. Like it wasn't like a whole bunch. You know what I mean? But uh, it was because of the the water pump failure. But still, you know, just contaminants. You know, it filters all filters all, all it filters a little <laughs> it filters all your coolant out out of those components. So. Of all those, you know, stuff that's floating around in there or whatever, you know, and it's just overall better, you know, because a lot of these, uh, a lot of these, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, galleys, coolant galleys, like they're small, you know what I mean? So you don't want to clog them up. So there's that one. The only thing I didn't buy was little clamps, but we'll worry about those later because with the barb fitting, it'll hold it in there, but I'm still going to put clamps on it. Okay. A little project. And again, guys, you know, you don't have to be super mechanically inclined uh, or not super mechanical. Like, you don't have to be like, yeah, like a super, super mechanically inclined. You know what I mean? Like, even if you don't know how to do it, like, even if you just follow the steps, I mean, maybe like your mounting location might be a little different assuming let's just say you get the same exact one right like your mounting location might be different and maybe you have to route the different hoses a little bit you know but i mean overall it's you guys are seeing you know it's not really super crazy you know complicated so let's go ahead and put this in we'll go ahead and tighten those up and it's just planning on where you're going to have your uh where it's going to be located I don't really like this, guys, here and here, because when my tire went out, thankfully, it didn't get none of this stuff over here. It just, like, blew all these the pieces of plastic that's there. That's the only thing that makes me nervous. But, you know, I don't plan on having a blowout anytime soon. 
<laughs> I mean, I wasn't planning it that other time either. The tire was only eight months old, but you know, that just goes to show it can happen. It's definitely happened to me before. The only thing that does suck about this, guys, I'm not going to lie to you guys, is that you're introducing like another failure point to uh, your system. And what I mean by failure point is like, you know, well, you got more connections to be le to worrying about uh like leaks and stuff like that you know and it's another filter that you guys are going to have to buy you know I, I think this i don't even know how often that filter gets changed but i'll probably just change it out like once a year um and we'll call it good you know but i think the the benefits outweigh the the uh what you may call it the negatives you know of having a of having to buy more stuff. Come on, baby. I think that should be good. I mean, it's not going to be super pressure. All right. So let me show you guys how it looks. Right there. So the next step is going to be is we're going to get this coolant line right here. It comes out of the thermostat housing. Right up there. So it comes out. And it goes across and it goes in there. So I'm going to get that line and I'm going to probably bring it out down here through somewhere. And there's really no way to mess this up, guys. So it's in and out. Obviously, we're going to get in from coming from the engine and out's going to be going to our tank. All right, YouTube. Good morning. So I went and bought me some some new hose because my other hose wasn't going to reach. So I'm going to try to be not in your guys way. You know, I kind of set up the camera you know, as best as I possibly could. So we're just gonna start routing this to where we need it to be routed at. All right, guys, so basically what I did right there is I just <laughs> I zip tight this bottle here so I can go ahead and start the truck and we can make sure that we have flow on here so that we don't spill a whole bunch of coolant. So let me go ahead and fire up this bad boy up. You guys watch it there while we start the truck up and then we'll pull it out and make sure that she's uh she's working. Make sure that I don't leave no tools like, for example, this <laughs> that can fall in the engine we don't want that no more tools up here okay i think we're good that one's tight 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 we got all our tools right here okay let me go ahead and fire up the truck I always double check guys before you guys are gonna fire up your trucks to make sure that uh you good okay here we go sorry about the buzzer guys but I can't do nothing about it because she's low on air. All right, here we go. All 
All right, let's go ahead and see, guys. Yep. All right, guys, so we definitely have coolant flow. So that's good. All right. So, um, you gotta be kidding me. Did that leak? I don't even notice that right there. Let's see. Oh, that's brake cleaner. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, finish plumbing this in and uh see how she works but that was a successful test that's exactly what we wanted to make sure is that we did have coolant flow which we do there we go oh shit great I'm going to smell like coolant all day. I'm actually going to save this in the truck, guys. Just in case something ever goes wrong with that system, I can always put the original hose back on. And then we don't have to be... Like, it'll just be kind of like my bypass, you know what I mean? Let's put this little clamp on. Let's see what she wrote. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go. That's good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up with some brake cleaner so that when we turn it on and let it get hot, we're actually able to see. Oh wow, that was like almost half a gallon. Just that short little time was half a gallon. I'm glad I, I thought about doing that because I don't wanna, it's expensive now in these days, you know what I mean? To be throwing stuff away. I wanna go buy me a box of Magic Eraser. Love this stuff. Hey. All right. Clean all this stuff up. Make sure all that coolant is good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and fill her up with the coolant to make sure that we're good. Cause we had to we have to account for what went into the filter. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll bring you guys back. So here's the finished product. So we went ahead and went from that hose. That hose goes down along here. I left it intentionally long just in case it leaks right there. I could always just cut it off and put it more. And then we got our outlet side. And that one goes back to the tank. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to the viewer that commented about this type of tape. It looks like regular bad electrical tape. And it is pretty much like electrical tape. But it's called Tessa tape. It's like cloth and it's like abrasion resistant. So that's what I used here. So that it 
you know, in case it vibrates or whatever, it's a little bit more resistant because I ran out of hose to do it like that. But that's pretty much in a nutshell how you guys install that, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mess. Let's let this thing get into operating temp. Okay, guys, you guys can see right there that we're at normal operating temperature now. So now let's go ahead and check for leaks. Now that the system is pressurized the way it normally is supposed to be. No leaks. No leaks at the filter. No leaks right there. And no leaks right there. So that's pretty much the way it looks, guys. I think it turned out pretty good. You guys let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I wanted to install that uh that fuel filter it's not truck specific i showed you guys the part number so if your truck doesn't have um a uh, coolant filter on it then that's the way you guys can install it the only thing difference is if you guys have a different type of engine you just have to find out where it's out outputting and then where it goes back into the bottle so that wherever it's outputting from the engine that would be your in on your coolant housing and then your out would be back to your reservoir tank. That's the only difference. And obviously mounting location or whatever, maybe your truck does have a space where to put it on the frame. I didn't really want to mess around with the frame and that's why I got that L bracket and I think it ended up working out good because I don't have to, you know, drain on the, fr the, the frame or anything like that. I really don't like to modify anything that has to do with the, with the frame. So that's the reason why I went ahead and installed it there. But in that shot, guys, that's uh, what I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the content, give me a thumbs up. Uh, share the content, comment on the video, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.